Alright, good morning. Doing your, well I guess it's afternoon, my apologies. Doing your overall energy for the day. And then I will follow that with a career in finance, so be sure to check that one out as well. Spirit, give us true precise messages, overall messages and energy for the collective for today. $30. Overall energy for the collective today. Overall energy for the collective feminines. So the feminine is cool. You got cheetah. All right. And the masculine's got the unicorn believing in magic. Cool. It's an uh, ether's energy. And the starfish, which is water. Feminine's got the fire. And the star. Very cool. Okay, this could also be two groups of masculines, or you might resonate with both cards, but for the Divine Feminine, the So, kind of moving away from the masculine, perhaps you're pulling your energy back to focus on yourself. This target also shows a focus, right? And it's um, the red, very passionate, the um, solar plexus is the orange yellow and the sacral uh, chakras uh, very much in a tomb so they're having courage and strength to pull away from the divine masculine's um, energy um, so that what that'll do then of course is they can focus on themselves heal their inner child be in their high priestess energy which will pull the magnetic pull of the divine masculine towards them so that they will then come towards them so this is for a group that is um, just in the stage of they've been healing themselves they understand the science perhaps and they're starting to um, pull away and focus more on themselves so that it uh, they're not no longer chasing after the masculines the masculines then become the chaser okay so good job because that means you're doing the work you're doing the healing Divine masculines are this, you're bright, shining bright like a star. Perhaps you uh, recognize that there's some kind of magnetic connection here. You understand the pull, especially now that she's moved. You're feeling that very sacral energy, central energy pull um, that the feminines had before when they were in the chase mode. Um, but the roles are reversing now for this group. And the... Uh, People are seeing you now. They're looking like watching you and seeing your change, how you're growing and developing into this beautiful star. You're shining brighter. You're smiling more because you feel this more high vibration energy. And believing in magic. You're understanding the science perhaps or started looking into the science of this um, connection and you're starting to believe in it. You were thinking that it feels a lot like a, a magical connection, something that's like your divine feminine is brought to you from, um, you know, the great spirit or divine source, which she is. Um, you're both a divine connection. And this is um, being in your emotion, trying to heal, understanding that, um, and starting possibly to look into, you know, meditation and studying more of the what you're trying to put um, a definition on the things you're feeling and, and uh, knowing. You're getting those intuitive messages. You're getting the messages from spirit guides. Your third eye is open. So you're seeing things that you wouldn't have normally seen before. And you're raising your vibration as well. All right. Let's see. Do 
the skirt goes through precise messages for the rest of seven feminines on top, masculines on bottom. Energy coming at them for today, 48 hours. Three of these are already. And seven. Not even going to let me shuffle for <laughs> three, four, five. Anything else for the feminine? Just the feminine spirit. <laughs> Don't get carried away. On the bottom you have moving forward. Just want to double check. These are where Alright, so feminines. Actually, let me do. Let me do cards for the masculines. Sorry, they came out right on top of each other. I have to see where the energy felt right. Alright, that's a lot of cards. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, first up we have Page of Swords for the Divine Feminine. Alright, she's setting her boundaries here, standing in her truth. This card always gives the energy to me like she's kind of given the cold shoulder. And she's got that look in her face that says, go ahead, lie to me. <laughs> right? She's holding her sword upright, which means she's in her truth and she expects nothing but the truth. So perhaps recently she's found out, yes, Divine Aspen has communication. So communication's coming to her and she's like, it better be the truth. She's done with the lies and the three-party situations. All right, and here's the, she knows that he is focused on her. She doesn't doubt the connection. She doesn't doubt his love and passion, but he's tied to this other person or has not moved from his position, right? He It's not growing or there is no growth in the karmic situation that he's in. 
and perhaps he has an, an additional um, person on the side that keeps him tied away from her or it could be work as well all right but there is growth in their connection and um, equal they understand the connection speaking to one another with telepathic communication they feel each other's energies But she also has heartbreak from the three-party situation, you know, finding out about the karmic life or the maybe another part person in addition to that. Because he's of low vibration and he still needs to, she, the Divine Feminine heals herself and then the Divine Masculine heals. So in the past, this was the situation. So she's healed in this um, and she's still feels that flame that passion and he knows that she is the light she's shining her light brightly to guide him to her she wants this to work on this connection she understands the science behind this or is studying the science she wants balance she's planted her seeds and she wants to bring in her harvest she's listening to her intuition and working hard on this and together they're both through their telepathic communication they are working on this um this is the three of pentacles it's just not balanced right yet because perhaps he's still in with the karmic so she still feels left out in the cold because he's with the other person the karmic knows of the connection believe me you because the women we just know <laughs> when someone else is in the picture it's an intuitive gift right and so she wants to come in out of the cold and she feels locked out of his life because he goes home to someone else she's in her truth with passion she is um feeling that passion that burning desire to be with him and she has spoken her truth as about these uh, passions of you know this not only centrally attracting to him but the connection the magnetic pull is so strong that it's just pulling her uh, to him with fierce energy which she's now going to turn from so that she can heal herself raise her vibration she's going to this is a new beginning She's working on herself, studying the science behind this journey, listening to her uh, higher self, her spirit guides, and her intuition. And she is growing um, leaps and bounds, um, but a lot of growth since she, in this uh, connection and on this journey that the Divine Feminine is having. She is studying the science behind this journey. She knows now that she has been given the gift of sight the veil was removed she's been given the dreams and the downloads the messages from the uh, great spirit and so she understands that without darkness you cannot have light so his dark habits of this karmic person or perhaps drinking smoking gambling and sex etc those may be dark energies but without darkness you wouldn't see her light so then they balance each other out and they both have uh, can equally move between the dark and light in the higher vibration healthy vibrations so she's studying that and she's now stepping into her high priestess um, energy just learning how to use her um, the powers that have been bestowed upon her that were her birthright she's healing her inner child and she's going in and also visiting him or healing him in the 5d as well as his um, inner child in the 5D. She's putting down the burns that no longer serve her so that she can move forward, putting down low vibration, putting away low vibrational friends, family members, perhaps. Uh, it's not to say cutting them off completely, but you can limit the amount of um, time you spend or communication while they're in the low vibration, right? Um, something I got on that is putting down burdens of relationships that are low vibration okay and having the strength to do it because it does take strength to cut off 
Um, you know, you might have been, when you were in a lower vibration, you may have been friends with some other people that also were low vibration. And if they haven't brought up their vibration, then you're no longer on the same level with them. And it's not in your highest good to continue um, conspiring with them. I don't know what the uh, word would be, but you're having strength here, focusing on the flame connection, listening to your spirit guides and to the divine source. Ignoring the snakes that are around you. Again, the low vibration people around you for both those cards. You are nurturing your divine masculine. This is the seven of pentacles. Um, planting the seeds. You're working on your um, abundance, your your uh, material things or your home and work. Um, you are being loyal to the connection. And you're uh, nurturing him in the 5D, nurturing his inner child. And perhaps even in communication with him in the 3D as well. So that this can grow. You're in your heart chakra with lots of love and passion for both yourself and the Divine Masculine. Okay, so the Divine Masculine has communication coming to you. Right, because it's going upwards right towards the Divine Feminine. And this work, uh, his spirit guides are with him as he plans to make this communication. It's going to eight of wands. It also reminds me of the 11-11 connection here with the wands. All right. He understands and he feels this connection that you make him feel childlike innocence um, uh, with that unconditional love that he feels with you. And it's just a knowing and he understands that without, while he may not understand why he has these deep passionate feelings for you he understands that that magnetic pull is there and that it's something special to work on and he wants to work on this as well you've both been planting seeds to, for this connection and you want to both see it come to fruition equally balanced and he wants to grow old with you okay wants to put an end to the ten of swords which is an ending an ending to being the pain of the karmics the pain of the girlfriends or boyfriends however it may play out um but putting an end to stabbing um being stabbed in the back um or feeling that pain of being stabbed in the back um and he knows that he's hurt you tremendously throughout this triggering the push and pull right we trigger one another we go in heal grow and then it triggers them they go in and, and it's just a continuous infinite uh until you reach a certain level of healing one with you when you're in union with yourselves each separately then you can become and aligned energetically together but you're working on this you're manifesting that he's manifesting this connection he wants to manifest this new beginning with you he has all the tools within him and he now knows he now knows how to use it his the science with this connection is close to his heart he's getting the downloads as well from his higher self from spirit and his spirit guides as well he's watching being more attuned to signs and synchronicities like you know birds or things that are around him the numbers um, he has shed his old skin and is rebirthed. He's recently had many towers that have brought him to this point. And he knows he's listening to you telepathically. He knows that you stand out from the rest, that there's no other one like you. And you see the cardinal here, right? And he's feeling more powerful, more courageous, more more strength and courage now and his soul plexus being open his heart chakra is open he's holding on to the belief of this connection at times he feels like he's currently he's feeling eight of swords energy self-imposed imprisonment kind of energy he's very passionate about you he's getting that stirring magnetic pull but he's also somewhat stubborn about this and not communicating his feelings perhaps currently and he's blinded to the fact that um this is a divine connection and needs to you know leave the karmic and move towards the divine feminine but before he does that he has to get rid of those stolen energies the uh, devil energies as well 
so that he can be on the same aligned level as you, High Priestess. Temperance is here to help balance this out for the highest good for your health. Um, things are blossoming. They're growing as they should be there. It's divine timing, remember. Everything's going perfectly, Spirit says. Um, temperance also here is keeping the uh, emotions calmer, calming down the emotions that drive that pull um, so that when you do come closer together energetic field-wise, that you are able to um, handle the energy. And the sun is coming up just over the horizon, so keep working hard, keep doing the inner child healing. He's also in this Queen of Swords energy. He um, knows he's very strong now. He's still got the bull by his side, perhaps a little stubborn, but feels a little cold. And I think you have the, yeah, you felt out of, left out in the cold, and this is kind of almost the, I get the feeling that, so he feels in his power, he feels like you're being cold to him. Perhaps it's because all of a sudden you had to pull away to heal yourself. He felt that change, so he felt that you were in a sword energy. He knows that you are the lover that he wants to spend the rest of his days with. He's connecting with this. He's planning on this. He's planning in his mind his future with you, the Divine Feminine. Um, he has his cup and all the tools he needs to manifest this connection and move forward. She, uh, he, Two of Swords, he is protecting this flame as well from the karmic. He is uh, protecting the connection here from his karmic. Alright. That was a lot. Really, you don't have any bad cards here. Yes, we have the Emperor along with the High Priestess and the Sun card coming out. Let's see what. Alright, and Power. Have strength in this. It's a number 8. Alright, so that's what I have for you because it's such a long spread. We're not going to clarify. Everything looked very positive. Um, so I hope you have a great Friday. Namaste.